Today we're making alio e olio. Let's get to it. We've got some fresh Italian parsley here. Let's give it a wash. Start by removing your parsley stems. Also, if you haven't, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making more of these videos. Once you have your parsley chopped finely, place it in a bowl and set it to the side. Now for the garlic. Grab a fresh whole garlic and peel back four cloves. It's also worth mentioning, do not use pre-minced garlic. Housekeeping moment. Let's talk about garlic for a second. If you cut your garlic very thin, you're gonna have a lot of surface area exposed, which is going to give you a very intense garlic flavor. So I'm going to cut this garlic medium thin, so that way we can have a milder flavor in this dish. So to help you understand that better, thin cut equals a more intense garlic flavor, and milder cut equals a more intense flavor. Your garlic should look like this. We're actually gonna start off by toasting our bread crumbs first, so that way as soon as the dish is done, we can immediately spread it on top of the pasta and begin eating as quickly as possible. To begin toasting your breadcrumbs, add them to a hot saucepan. After that, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Stir on high heat for three to four minutes or until the crumbs become golden brown. When this is all said and done, this is what your toasted breadcrumbs should look like. They should have a nice crunch to them now. Begin to boil your water and add roughly three tablespoons of sea salt. In the meantime, heat up a saucepan on high heat and add your olive oil and garlic. You should notice it's cooking on contact, but not smoking. If it's smoking, it's too hot, so just kill the heat a little bit. After that, add your fresh pepperoncino to the mix and let it combine with the olive oil and garlic for about a minute or two. Be careful to avoid any oil splatter. Okay, wow, that scared me. Okay, after that, break your pasta. I'm just kidding. If you break your pasta, I'll break your legs. Begin to cook your pasta to al dente. After that, add your parsley to the garlic and oil mix. Stir this on high heat for maybe a minute before you bring the heat to medium. Then, add in the ladle of boiling salt water to your oil. Please be careful during this. Add a full ladle very quickly to avoid the danger of hot oil and water. Now add your spaghetti and mix it in with your sauce to let it become homogenous with one another. I like to add a tad bit of whole parsley to bring in more texture, but do whatever fits you best. Let it cook for about one more minute or so. Now it's time for the fun part. So I don't have one of those nice two-prong spaghetti forks. I just have a pair of tongs and I've seen others use this before and it works just fine. Twirl your spaghetti around the tongs and place it into your bowl while continuing to twirl. Then grab any extra pepperoncino and add it to your dish. After that, spread a few breadcrumbs over to give you a nice crunch with each bite. Once you've added that, you can now enjoy your homemade aleo mm. e olio. Mm. That was perfect. The pasta was cooked perfectly al dente. The parsley gives it so much flavor along with the olive oil and the pepperoncino. The pepperoncino isn't that spicy, it just gives it a nice little kick and the breadcrumbs give you that little bit of crunch and extra texture. If you go back to the stovetop portion of this video, you'll see that I added whole parsley leaves. I did that just to give me some more texture. Um, that's actually a really important thing when you're eating or cooking in general. It's, the texture is a big deal. It plays a role, it makes you actually like and enjoy your food a little more. It's, you may not notice it when you're cooking that much, but it does play a big deal. Um, so these breadcrumbs are the perfect addition, so are whole parsley leaves as well too. And with that being said, um, I'm gonna keep eating. If you make this dish at home, comment down below, tell me how you liked it, or post a picture of it on Instagram and tag me, and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Actually, do the same if you didn't like this as well. See you next time.